Hey there, it's me, Red Knight, and welcome back to Heyday. Now, we're going to be looking at one of the boosters today. In this case, it's the Bush Booster, related to three of the bushes that you've got within the game, and we're going to get a lot of benefit out of this booster. Now, at the moment, you can see my basic farm design. Now, that's going to be changing in a moment as I talk about it, but we need to see what boosters we've actually got. So let's head on down to the bottom right-hand corner and check out the booster storage. You can see that I've got a lot of boosters of different star value from the booster purchase pack and the ones that I actually got within my regular storage up to the maximum of three. Hey Dave, please increase that one. Now, I've got an active booster at the moment that I've been using. It's a bush booster, and I do like it. It's a five-star one, so it's the maximum style of booster. It's given me a 50% faster growth for the next 48 hours. Sweet. Now, to get the most benefit out of this booster, you really need to have a lot of berry bushes or coffee bushes within your farm design. You also need to have a lot of axes because you are going to be doing a lot of chopping down. So I will cover that one as well. It's great for making a lot of coins, it's great for making a lot of experience points, and it's wonderful if your hoodies actually do have a revive task because you can help them out. Now each of the bushes has a specific growing time. Some of them will be much faster, some of them will be very, very slow. Now in relation to the bushes as well, there's a specific cycle for actually collecting the produce. They then become dead, you've got to revive them one last time, you can request help from people around the world, they will come and revive, which brings the bush back to life. You can see that I've got dead bushes, live ones and revived ones in the same picture. Now, the ones that have actually got the uh, brownish at the part at the top there, you'll see where the axe is, they are dead ones, they need to be chopped down. So the one with the logos, they are the, they are the ones that have been revived by my friends. Now I'm going to click on those little icons, which will then restart the growing process, and then I just need to wait a specific amount of time for the flowers and then for the actual berries to appear. It's not that bad when you're actually using a 50% booster. When you're not using a booster, it takes a longer, as you know. Now, the ones that need to be chopped down, I will get rid of those in a moment. Now, for example, the blackberry bush there, very, very nice bush, but you can see it's a long turnaround. And this one is actually a lot faster. So imagine how long it takes a berry bush usually. That's why boosters can be very, very effective within your farm itself, because it does allow you to make a lot of coinage and XP, as I said. Right, now we're going to chop down these dead bushes. Now, even though the bush is now dead, even though I'm getting rid of it, I can still gain experience points at the same time. So it doesn't matter whether it's alive or dead, it's given me the experience. And that is very important because it allows you to level up within the game, thus getting the ability to grow even more items. Now at the moment there's only the three bushes and I want to get the most benefit out of it. So you see down here I've got this area where I've moved my trees out of the way and I've just planted loads of bushes. Uh, over here you'll see that I've got a lot of bushes as bordering and I've got a lot of trophies there as well. Now what I'm actually going to do is to get rid of those. But before I do that, let's go check the newspaper, see if I can find any more axes, because you never know, I may need them. If I do need more axes, especially for the chopping down part, I can actually go and ask my hoodies to help me out, and I can also hire Tom as well. Personally, I think Tom is very, very good, but like uh, you already know, he's only available for a specific amount of time as well. Right, now those ones are cleared away. Now, before I actually start decorating over where my trophies are and laying out that whole new area, I want to place down these berry bushes. Now, if you're like me, you're very limited on space. When you try to place down a bush within a specific angle, it won't let you. Now, I'm going to show you a little tip that you may not realize. Now, the first option you've got is just to place it down, then turn it around, and then you can move it over into the location you want. But if your actual farm doesn't allow this because you have no space, well, what do you do? Well, when you drag it out, as an example, it could be this direction, or if you drag it out again, uh, as per the one I've just rejected, you'll see that it's in the other direction. Basically, every time you drag it out and it doesn't allow you to place it, it swaps the direction. So if we zoom in here and I bring out another one here, 
and when I do bring it out it should be the wrong direction or the right direction now this one I'm going to reject it push it back in okay I want the wrong direction okay here we go it's the wrong direction now by me actually rejecting it it allows me to then change it and then placing the decorative item down in this case the berry bushes is much much easier so make sure when you try to place it it won't place goes back into storage uh, and then gives you the ability to add another one in but in a different direction watch this so I can't fit it in reject it the next one comes out in the angle that I want it to be perfect very very useful thing to remember by the way especially if you have no space for actually turning it around right now those bushes are growing down here as I said earlier I'm using this booster that I've got within my storage to grow a lot of berry bushes now I want to maximize this booster within the next 20 odd hours so I'm gonna actually go and clear away my trophies which means changing my design now normally I wouldn't do this because I don't want to have too many dead bushes within my design now they're great for bordering as you can see within my design but I do have sufficient axes at the moment so by removing away these trophies I'm creating a space where I can now place down the berry bushes now I don't want it that angle I want it to be this way good so we're gonna place those ones down like that and then just have them running straight up that side of the wall and up the side of the bushes now I'm placing down the actual blackberry bushes they are rather expensive but the return when you do actually harvest them more than pays for that also the growing time is a lot longer so a booster is very very beneficial in addition to that the experience points that when you're harvesting you get is really good as well now I'm going to place down some other berry bushes as well okay the coinage is not so great as you can see it's not that high so it's much much cheaper as an option it turns around a lot faster so maybe when you're looking at the time wise you might want to consider actually placing down the raspberry more than you would the blackberry now the one I didn't actually place down here is the coffee bush now I like having the coffee bushes they're really good but I don't want too many within my design they aren't that very big and they really don't take up a lot of space you can mix and match them in very very easily however I do prefer the berry bushes a lot more and they're all working through their cycle I, I'm happy just to be leaving them the way they are and then just collect them later I, I think as a bordering effect they are really good Right, coffee bushes are the one that are down on the other side, and I'll get to those in a second. Now, the great thing about the berries is the fact that you can actually produce a lot of goods. You can make jams if you come over to the jam maker. Take a long time to actually produce, but again, the usage of the berries for this is very, very beneficial. You can also make some juices as well, as you can see then, and you can also produce some of the muffins as well. Uh, which is kind of cool because we are using those a lot within the derby now for me the biggest thing about using this booster is not so much the berry bushes it's the coinage I get from selling now by just adding some of these items that I'm selling like the berry bushes they're maxed out 828 coins there per 10 like I said it really is good and it does give you a lot of money so if you are looking to make a lot of cash within the game as long as you've got plenty of access to chop them down you can do very very well with these boosters so seriously use the berry booster and do keep an eye on your berry bushes now don't waste the bush booster by just leaving it literally once they're ready harvest them harvest them again harvest them again and they're ready chop them down and replace them okay right that's me red signing off from this video make sure you do send me a letter in the post to my address as you can see here also as well please do remember to subscribe to my channel okay you can see my icon imagery here but the main thing once you do subscribe is to hit that bell notification then you'll know when I upload videos or I'm live streaming bye bye